I just want to say a few things about love. Love is a very abstract concept. And I don't think that anybody can really explain it completely. It's something that you have to experience. And you can come up with thousands of adjectives to describe the way that it makes us feel and what it does. But until you experience it, you'll never exactly know how to describe it. It's just one of those things, you know. You just have to, you know it. And it's almost unsaid. Now, I'm not speaking in specific terms of love as in relationships between two people who are in love. I'm also speaking, I'm speaking in more general terms as in love completely in any relationship between family members mothers, daughters, sons, fathers, vice versa, anything, um, your third cousins, <laughs> whatever the, the situation may be, best friends, love is there. And it's just something that we take for granted. And yet it's also something that we don't take for granted because it's something that we all desire. Love, acceptance, someone to, to help us feel the same way that we want to make someone else feel. And it's just, I don't care who you are. It's a universal thing, and it's a human thing. I suppose you could even argue it's an animal thing. You want love, you want affection, you want attention. And when you finally do receive that, and it's mutual, and it's positive and it's real. I can be the best thing in the whole world. Now I said I was speaking in general terms and going to become more specific now when I'm speaking in love and relationships and being in love. Being in love is one of the craziest things that you could ever do to yourself. <laughs> Seriously, it is. Because you're really going on faith, taking a risk, laying your heart on the line more than you ever will. And it hurts. I don't how I don't care how good your relationship is. It hurts. Love hurts. It's bottom line. It will always hurt. It may be a good hurt, it may be a bad hurt. It may be because you have to wait to be with the one that you love. Or any other number of reasons. But I don't care if you are 2,000 miles away from someone or 2 feet away from them. Love hurts and it's gonna hurt sometime if it doesn't already. And I think it was meant to hurt because we were meant to suffer. And I'm not going to get into a, a religious debate here. But ultimately, as humans, we are meant to suffer. 
because there are always lessons to be learned for whatever the reason may be and because we haven't learned those lessons yet we have to keep suffering until we do maybe that sounds mean but it's the honest truth there's always a reason for everything that may sound cliche but I believe in it with all my heart there's a reason for our suffering there's a reason for the pain that we go through when we're in love with someone because there's a reward and that reward you learn later was so worth all that pain you went through and there's a lot of patience involved too tons of patience involved in a relationship and if you're in a relationship where you're hurting and it's not a good hurt it's a very negative hurt and even though you love this person you're hurting them and they're hurting you or or the other way around there is something that you can do that you can try that is very important and again it might sound cliche but from my experience I know that it is an absolute necessity and that is to be honest to be open and to talk I don't care I'm not trying to sound like a self-help book but communication is the key to any relationship or stone to any relationship without being able to talk to your partner there's going to be much conflict and I mean that there will be a lot of conflict miscommunication or no communication hiding your thoughts and your feelings can lead to a lot of conflict down the road and by talking and establishing a foundation for honesty you're able to avoid that conflict if there's something bothering you something that other person did that really hurt you or just something that that you're concerned about and you need to express that concern to that person but you're afraid to because you're afraid of hurting them or you're afraid that your opinion or whatever it is that you need to say to them is going to push them away from you further then you start to hold it inside and then it will come out later either in an argument or years down the road or your actions may be the cause of this this fear this thing that bothered you about the person it could snowball into a lot of things but my point is if you establish that foundation of communication that you say please tell me what's on your mind let's talk about it and let's get through it so that we can both leave this night or when you separate from that person if you're going somewhere else to separate houses or whatever the situation may be by the end of the day <clears throat> if you both leave feeling better or at least in a similar mood because of what you discussed then you're successful 
you need to establish the fact that yes what this person might say to me might hurt but they're doing it out of love they're doing it out of love because they want our relationship to succeed they want us to be okay so we need to get through this small hurdle to avoid it becoming a larger hurdle or even a wall that's built up between us because we never discussed it I mean it can be as simple as a habit that someone has that you can't stand <laughs> and if you just get through it and talk about it and you agree to try not to be so offended because you can talk it out and try to make each other feel better then you can so avoid so much you can avoid breaking up you could avoid divorce and I'm not saying it's a, a cure-all and that you won't have problems and that you're gonna have this perfect relationship I'm just saying that if you do talk to this person then it could solve a lot it can soften blows it can make your life so much better but it has to be a mutual respect and a mutual decision you both have to feel really good about it that being said I have one more thing to say about relationships which is sometimes relationships aren't mutual or they're half mutual and the other person's kind of into it but you're still left confused because there's not that open communication there now this can get very sticky and very confusing and very painful when one person is in love with someone and you may not even know it yet you may just feel like maybe I just have a crush on this person maybe I just really like them maybe we're just good friends maybe I'm just getting you know attached too quickly or infatuated with this person you're gonna sit there and you're gonna analyze it and you're gonna be like what am I getting into and this other person may have someone you know they could be in a relationship and that can cause a lot of problems um, jealousy heartache confusion hatred toward the, the person that they get to have um, it could be many things but I'm not going to get into that right now the point is it's a really difficult st sticky situation when you're in love with someone or starting to fall for someone and the other person has a relationship that they're attached to now this relationship could be healthy or it can be unhealthy whatever the situation may be you need to protect yourself no matter how much you love this person you need to protect yourself and that may sound kind of selfish but um, the reason why I say that is because you need to be true to yourself you need to make sure that if you are going to make a move for that person or you're going to lay your heart out on the line and you're going to say I love you you better pre be prepared for anything and by anything I mean the best of the best or the worst of the worst or which happens a lot of times 
the middle ground, which is confusion, and this may not sound very attractive. I might not be making it sound good, but I'm trying to say in a roundabout way, forgive me, that you need to be mature enough. You need to think it through. Pray if you're a praying person. But basically be mature enough to be ready to say, to confess your heart to this person. Because if you're not prepared for the worst, I'm just going to say if you're not prepared for the worst, you'll be destroying yourself ultimately. Because we are our own worst enemies. We are the best at not taking our own advice, and we are the best at beating ourselves up. I don't care how confident you are, we all have this inherent in us. So you just be prepared and protect yourself in order to make your move or lay your heart on the line. That's my advice to anybody in that situation. Now, I'm not saying that it's not going to work out for you. It may work out. It may be wonderful. And I'm not suggesting that you go out and sabotage people's relationships. Because they may be in a very healthy, good relationship. And you might just have to get over them. I'm just saying that You have to be careful with yourself and be prepared. One more thing I want to say about love is I'm a person who never ever thought that I would fall in love or have someone fall in love with me. And to this day it still amazes me and I can't fathom why it ever happened but it's crazy like I said it really is it's crazy and it hurts but when you do realize that you love someone you will absolutely know that it I mean, it'll hit you like lightning. You'll know that you love them. And it will just be like the most unbelievable feeling ever. I know it was for me when I realized I was in love with my boyfriend. I was like, I mean, he wasn't even my boyfriend yet. We were just good friends, but I was just amazed. It was like the most terrifying feeling in the world. (laughs) And yet the most wonderful feeling. And that's what I say about describing love. You have to experience it before you can really give your adjectives of what it does to you. How it makes you feel. So I hope that what I said didn't confuse people anymore or anyone who listened I'm just kind of giving my two cents about love and throwing just a little bit of advice out there and um, I'm not saying it would work completely for anybody but I do believe in it and I think it's pretty sound advice um, I just hope it helps somebody remember that love hurts whether it's good or bad to protect yourself and that talking to someone is crucial in any relationship thanks for listening